Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. It is reported that the world's third high NA EUV lithography machine is about to land in TSMC's factory, and the latter has begun to prepare for the production of 1 nanometer chips. Once mass production can be achieved, the gap with the United States will be greatly widened. TSMC purchases lithography machines. As we all know, ASML, as a global lithography machine giant, is the leader in the field of EUV lithography machines. If the lithography machine is the jewel in the crown of the human semiconductor industry, then ASML is equivalent to the manufacturer holding the brightest jewel. Previously, ASML announced its latest product, the high NA EUV lithography machine. It is understood that this lithography machine weighs 150 tons and is larger than a truck when assembled. It needs to be transported in 250 separate crates, including 13 large containers. Compared with the previous version of the lithography machine, the biggest advantage of high NA EUV is that the numerical aperture has been increased from 0.33 to 0.55. The so-called numerical aperture refers to a parameter used to measure the angular range in which an optical system can collect light. Simply put, the larger this value is, the smaller the resolution of the optical system is, so that more advanced process chips can be manufactured. At the same time, it can greatly reduce the cost of multiple exposures, and the production efficiency and yield rate will also become higher. For example, before, it may only be possible to produce 150 wafers per hour, but now it can be increased to 300, which is very exaggerated. It is understood that this lithography machine currently supports 2 nanometers mass production and can support 1 nanometer mass production by 2029. If multiple exposures are used, mass production of 5 angstroms, that is, 0.5 nanometers, process in the future will also be no problem. Although many people predict that Moore's law is about to end, the introduction of high NA EUV has once again continued this law, providing a longer-term driving force for innovation in the chip industry. Such a good thing, for TSMC, the world's leading wafer foundry, of course, wants it, and the more the better. According to Taiwan Media Economic Daily, the world's third high NA EUV lithography machine is about to land in TSMC's factory. Although the first two were sold to Intel, it would be a waste to buy the latter because TSMC will still be the foundry in the future. As we all know, TSMC is ASML's super VIP customer with more than 80 EUV lithography machines accounting for more than half of all EUV shipped by ASML. Relevant data shows that in the world's top 10 wafer foundry revenue rankings, TSMC alone accounts for more than 60% of the market share. Especially in the process of 7 nanometers and below, it is even more leading. In order to maintain its leading position in the industry, TSMC invests heavily in research and development every year. It is reported that TSMC has spent at least 30 billion US dollars, or more than 200 billion renminbi, on the transition from 7 nanometers to 5 nanometers, and then to 3 nanometers. For the semiconductor industry, the realization of 2 nanometers process technology will usher in a new era. With the rapid development of artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, autonomous driving, 
quantum computing and other fields in the future, advanced chips will become the core competitiveness of all walks of life. Whoever can master the most cutting-edge lithography technology in the shortest time will have the possibility of gaining greater market advantages. The introduction of the high NA EUV lithography machine this time marks that TSMC has laid a solid foundation for the future 2 nanometers, or even 1 nanometer process, which is undoubtedly a key link to continue to maintain its leading position. It is worth mentioning that TSMC previously disliked the price of the high NA EUV lithography machine and vowed to use the previous standard EUV lithography machine. For TSMC, any large-scale technology upgrade will affect overall capital expenditures, especially when they may not significantly increase production revenue in the short term. Some analysts have previously predicted that TSMC may not adopt this technology until 2030 or even later. But later TSMC was still scared and had to reevaluate its strategy. It is estimated that it was itchy when Intel bought two machines home. In recent years, Intel has announced the IDM 2.0 strategy, aiming to regain its leading position in advanced processes through new technology layout. So the most advanced lithography equipment has become the key among the keys. Especially this time, Intel actually bought two high NA EUV lithography machines in one go. These actions of Intel are undoubtedly showing off to TSMC. If TSMC does not keep up with the trend, it is likely to be overtaken by Intel in terms of accuracy, speed and production efficiency. Therefore, for TSMC, even if the price is expensive, it must be bought. But the high NA EUV lithography machine purchased by TSMC is not the finale of ASML. It is said that the more powerful Hypo NA EUV lithography machine is being developed intensively and the numerical aperture will be further improved. According to ASML's estimate, it will be launched as early as 2030, which can support mass production of two angstroms, that is, 0.2 nanometers. According to data, ASML's standard numerical aperture EUV lithography machine, NXE series, currently costs about $183 million while the high NA EUV lithography machine, EXE, 5000, costs about $380 million. The price of the future hyper NA lithography machine may exceed $760 million.